Hey guys, Theo here, back with another video. Today's video, I got some big news for you guys on NoScope Arcade. Today's video is just going to more over be about my settings and whatnot, but I am trying to publish a new video within the next day or two, and it's got some content changes and some really good sneak peeks of what NoScope Arcade is going to be adding into their game. I myself am a administrator for the game, so I do get some stuff that I can slash can't tell you guys, but all I can say is you guys might want to stick tuned because some of the stuff's actually pretty good. So... Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so a lot of people have been asking about my crosshair and whatnot. And after being bothered about it, even in game while I try and play and go into public lobbies, I've been asked to do a settings video, do this, do that. So today I'll be doing a settings video. So as for my settings, as you can see, my crosshair already looks like a old default crosshair no scope arcade used to have if you played before the winter update, which is something I overly like. And as you can see, it's my hue, brightness, outline thickness, line thickness, and length. If you'd like to have a crosshair like this, that's old, like before the winter update, you can go ahead and copy it. I don't really mind. So that's just for my crosshair setting itself. Most of these settings I have here that are located at the left, I don't really matter too much to me or matter that much i just have like performance mode on because to me it's more smooth less things to mess with your vision because it's just all flat colors which to me is a something gameplay field of view i always have that up because it expands your vision basically and you can see more of what's in front of you as for death is sus or like show map details if you don't want performance on or show map details that is completely up to you there's nothing game changing about that it's going to affect your overall performance um, other than performance mode affecting fps but if you have a good device and you like the way no scope arcade looks without performance mode on you can keep that doesn't matter so as for stuff like camera bobbing uh the view model bobbing i have that all the way down because that can affect your aim well, from what I've seen, is you're bobbing when you're walking, you're bobbing with just your view model in general. When you walk, almost like how Minecraft has view bobbing. So I like to have both those straight down for overall better gameplay and more smoothness. So if we scroll down a bit more, you can see kill effects, ragdolls, character particles, or play footstep sounds. These don't matter at all. You can have them on or have them off. I like to have kill effects on because personally, I like to see whether or not I hit marker a person. Uh, even though if I use cars, like if I'm knifing someone, I'd like to see if I at least hit marker them. Ragdolls, it's completely up to you. I like watching people's bodies fly or land pretty funny. So if you like to have that on, you can. Character particles. I believe that is with if you buy any of the character skins or if you have um, cosmetics from Roblox itself that have particles, I believe it will turn those off, which can be a performance setting to increase your performance. But to me, it doesn't matter as much, so I just leave it on. Play footstep sounds, you'd obviously want that. You'd want to hear footsteps around you. So I'd suggest having that on. If you want to have that off, you can. Completely up to you. So as for that, we can go over to UI scale. This doesn't matter at all. I just like to have mine large so I can just have more on my screen, see what I'm looking at, see what I'm doing, and easier to see how low or high I want a setting to be. So like for name watermark, it does block this stuff. So your kill feed would have been blocked by this. So to me, I like to have it off. It's better that way for me. Event sounds. Uh, as you can see, these sounds like local death, match in, hurt, kill player, decrease, F FX, if disabled. This does not disable other sound effects. This, I believe, can be totally up to you if you want the local death, the match in, the hurt, slash kill, or anything like that. But to me, I just said just having it on because then you can tell whether you hurt a player, kill a player, when the match ends, or stuff like that. Bullet tracers. I'd suggest having this on. I can't say much further, but we have bullet tracers in the game for a reason. I'd suggest having this on. We'll go further about this maybe in my next video. We'll see. As for audio distance factor, so it affects the relative scale of how sounds are emitted in a 3D world relative to 1.0 meters, or just one meter, basically. I leave this at default, left it the same. To me, it doesn't seem to really do anything whether I put it up or down, so I just leave it directly in the middle where it was. As for this, the flash bokeh or bokeh, whatever people are going to correct me on i have no clue this is that flash you see when you shoot i recommend having that on because then you can see where you shoot and when you shoot it's good to have good to know you know it's easy to tell from if you missed a person or if you actually shot a person because sometimes we've had had hit reg issues 
um, and it's easier to tell if it was a hit rank or, or not is if you have flash poke on because then you can tell when you shot and where the bullet was going to go as for music volume if you don't like listening to music and you just want to play and have your own music on the background i suggest having this off i have it off as for audio roll off scale default doesn't really matter in auto fire uh does not matter to any pc laptop players or people like that or uh, mobile players this is a feature that i believe isn't in the game due to some issues but um other than that you can have it on off doesn't matter it's whatever as for the last setting audio doppler scale i don't exactly know what this does but i've just left it here because I have no really knowledge on what it does or the relative intensity of 3D audio Doppler effect. So just leave it at default, leave it the way it is. As for these settings and stuff, that's basically what I keep as it. I do that for most of my accounts anyways, or change the crosshair on some other accounts. Um, that's most of my settings for this stuff. If you guys are curious what my Roblox sensitivity is, it's 0 0.0285. Now you might be like, Theo. That's a really low sensitivity. Why would you play on that? Well, I used to play on, if I move my DPI, on 700 DPI, which I can still play like that. It's enjoyable in some games like that, or if I'm playing NSA, I just want to play normally and stuff, I'll play on 700 DPI. But then if I up my DPI by one, that's a sensitivity I start to play on now. I never changed my Roblox, but I changed my DPI. So I think this DPI is maybe 1200. I'm not sure. It could be 12 or 1400. But that's just what I play on. I play between 700 to 1400 DPI between those two. And it's what I use to play. If you guys do want to try those settings out for yourself, you can. Or if you'd like to see something funny similar to sensitivity. I have already posted a video, which I'll showcase on the screen right now. A video about uh, high sensitivity. And every single time I get a kill, I'll drop it down. It was a really funny, yet difficult video. And if you guys like something funny, then just go ahead and watch it and watch how I struggle. But as for that, that's just most of my settings and what I play with no scope for arcade or I don't know. It's all I can really say. I'm like messing around and everything. But as for further ado to what I mentioned earlier, uh, within the next day or two, I will be trying to post a video showcasing a few things that's going to be updated into no scope arcade. Because if you guys haven't noticed, what you'll also display on screen is Mia shouting out the future updates that's going to come out within a couple of days. Well, there's some stuff that I'm going to be allowed to share with you guys. And if you haven't noticed already, I'm not going to point it out. There's something in this video as well that I've showcased that I've gotten permission to. Whether you want to comment below what it is or what it isn't, you tell me. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.